Today marks 60 years since Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. stood on the steps of the Washington Monument sharing his dream of a more tolerant America. The Our Blessing Uchuku introduces us to a North Texas man who was there for that historic moment in 1963 and is still fighting for that dream to be reality. It's not every day you get to be a part of civil rights history. Well, that was the case for a North Texas man. He was just 18 years old at the time, but he says it has left a lasting impact on him 60 years later. I have a dream. Those four iconic words One still day. resonate with Peter Johnson. It is still, it's still a deep, deep part of, uh, of who I am today. While most people have seen this grainy black and white footage countless times on their TV screens, Peter saw it live in living color. It was the, the sight itself for an 18 year old boy growing up in the South to climb up in that tree when the police told us how big it was. It, it is a vision embedded in my sight, in my mind, that I'll never forget that sight. Everybody hugging everybody. A uh, lot of tears. Uh, by the time King finished his speech, everybody was on their feet, tears in everybody's eyes. And uh, when King said, go back to the South, uh, we felt he was talking to us. And boy, did he listen. At 18 years old, Peter had already familiarized himself with law enforcement during the civil rights movement. I had been in and out of jail. At some, I had to come out of jail to go to the March on Washington. Years after the I Have a Dream speech, Reverend Johnson was part of MLK's clergy and marched alongside the civil rights icon. He later moved to North Texas in the late 60s and helped fight for civil rights in Dallas. I have an institute for nonviolence. It's called the Peter Johnson Institute for Nonviolence. It has been serving the Dallas community since 1969, according to the group's website. All this happened while he was young, and he believes, just like Dr. King, the civil rights movement needed students. To the distinguished president of Southern Methodist University, Dr. Tate. On March 17, 1966, Dr. King came to Dallas after being invited by then SMU student Senate Vice President Burt Moore. I need not pause to say how very delighted and honored I am to be on the campus of this great institution of learning. The school says Moore was part of the group of 50 SMU students who joined Dr. King on the Selma to Montgomery Civil Rights March in 1965. All of these young men that was around Martin King, we were all students. Peter is now 78 years old, but still has a lot of fight left in him. We talk about Dr. King, but instead, let's do Dr. King. He's also ready to pass the baton. I think the world's definitely going to change and it's going to be a better place. And if this sixth grader thinks so. Faith without actions is dead. Well, so does Peter. I have a lot of faith in the next generation. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. For more refreshing stories about your community, click the subscribe button over here. You can also download our Spectrum News app and tune in to Channel 55 on Dish and DirecTV to get live news coverage, weather updates every 10 minutes, and more. We'll see you then.